Hi, hello. Uh, can anyone hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Shall, shall we start? Okay. Okay, cool. Um, okay, um, so this is the General Solids Technical Department, and my name is Judon Lee. And today uh, we were going to have a training or a webinar about our uh, new function, which is a 24 hour fully intelligent energy management system, or we can call it the uh, 24 hour consumption monitoring. <clears throat> so, uh, about uh, there are some notes. So, if you have any uh, technical questions, uh, you can use a chat box. And if you have questions to, to me, uh, you want to ask, then you can use a question box so that I can know. And uh, after this presentation, we will have some question and answers time, and then we can discuss about any, any inquiries that you have. And uh, about the slides and the recording, um, our marketing department will share this slides and recording to you guys this Friday. Okay, uh, let's start. And well, uh, this is about the content of this uh, presentation. So the first part is going to be about the function of the 24 hour consumption monitoring. And then we will talk about the necessary accessories that you need to achieve the 24 hour consumption monitoring function. And then the third part is some notes that we prepared for you so that you can um, fully understand what the uh, function is, uh, is working or operating. And then the last part is about the schedule of this function, like uh, what, can, what models of solid inverters and when the function will be officially released. <clears throat> okay, so the first part is about the function. So, uh, most of the customers would like to monitor their load consumptions in their house, like for the whole day. Well, but uh, as you can know, uh, the, once the inverter is, is down uh, at night, and then you will lose the uh, monitoring function, and then you're not able to monitor the load consumptions for the whole day. But uh, Solis developed this 24-hour uh, consumption monitoring function so that you can have a uh, you can you can check the load consumption for the whole day as long as the AC is available, and uh, this is a system diagram. As you can see, we have inverters, and then we have a meter connected to the inverter, and the meter is monitoring the uh, power flow on the grid connection port, and between them, uh, you have the load your house connected, and you can see the power flow, which is P1, P2, and P3, and well, our 24-hour consumption monitoring uh, requires the meter to be installed at the grid connection port. So uh, the meter must be measuring the uh, total output of their system to the grid or from grid. And then uh, during the day, well, the meter is able to monitor the power flow at the grid connection port, uh, which is a P1. And then uh, because we have inverter connected, the inverter has its generation of P2. And then with both P1 and P2, uh, the data will be uploaded to our solid uh, monitoring system uh, into the cloud. And then uh, we will do the necessary calculations through the monitoring system. And then we can figure out what the load consumption power P3 is. So uh, the load consumption energy is also can be obtained and then will be displayed in our monitoring system. And this is, how the, uh, how the system works during the day. And at night, well, with the 24 hour consumption monitoring function enabled, uh, we will talk about later how to enable this function. Uh, then we will have the inverters AC relay keeps uh, closed. So the inverter AC relay will still be closed instead of open circuit at night. And then well, with the meter, we can still measure the power flow of P1, and then we can upload the data through the inverter and then to the monitoring system as well. Uh, with this kind of logic, uh, we can achieve the consumption monitoring for the whole day for 24 hours, no matter at daytime or at nighttime. 
And <clears> then, <throat> well, and this is about uh, what, ca uh, what kind of models of solid inverters will support this 24 hour consumption modeling function. Um, there are many four series, uh, which, is, which is the solid mini, uh, 700 to six, uh, 3600 watt, the 4G version, and then also a solid single phase 2.5 to 6, and solid single phase 7 to 8K 5G, and then about three phase systems. Uh, the three phase 3 to 20K 4G is going to support this function as well. And here is about how you can enable this function. So the first step is that you need to have the meter connected because the meter is necessary to measure the power flow, right? And we will talk about uh, in the next slides about how to meter correctly. And the next point is that you need to make sure the meter is installed at the grid connection port. So if you have a house, uh, you need to install the meter in your um, main uh, distribution panel of your, of your house. So which we call this meter in grid uh, configuration. And then, uh, this, then you have to make sure that the communication cable between the meter and the inverter is correctly connected. So they communicate between uh, each other through IS-45. So you need to make sure the cable is uh, correctly fastened and installed. And then uh, the step two is you need to turn on this function through inverter's LCD uh, screen. So the first step is that you need to uh, go into the advanced setting of solid inverters, and then you, can, you need to enter the password as 0010, and then you will find the switch on off setting. Then you will also find the 24, which we call 24 hours switch. And then you need to en enable that uh, function first, and then you need to go into the advanced setting again and password 0010, and you need to find the internal EPM set. Uh, and in the model select, you need to make sure you select the consumption monitor function. So with these two steps that you can enable the function of the inverter through the LCD. Then the next step is very easy. Like you, you just need to make sure the inverter is on the monitor system. So you need to either use a Wi-Fi stick or LAN stick or GPR stick uh, to make sure the inverter is registered in the uh, solid monitoring system. Or you can use Wi-Fi box if you have a, a box if you have multiple inverters. Anyway, um, and then uh, after you register the, the system and your inverters onto the um, solid monitoring system, then uh, you can check the data either from your mobile phone app or you can, uh, mod, uh, you can check the data in, in our mod, uh, solid monitoring website. So uh, in, the next, in the next picture, you can see you, you are able to clearly see how much generation you have and how much consumption you are using and also how much you are exporting to the grid. And they can show the current power. So they can show the power that is flowing in the system. And then you can also have a look at the like daily generation, daily consumption, and also the total generation, monthly consumption as well. So you can view both consumption power, consumption energy. So this is very helpful for customers to understand how much power, how much energy they use to edit the house. And the source module website is also the same. And then uh, with this function introduction, then we will talk about the uh, accessories that you need, which is a meter. So uh, Solis have, uh, has like four types of meter that can be used with uh, above um, inverters. So the first one is a single phase meter uh, without CT. So it's a direct insert type, which means you need to insert the uh, line, a uh, hot line, and then the neutral line into the meter, and then run right out from the meter. 
uh, and the meter will be look like this. And it can support the three types of inverters, which are mini, a single phase 2.5 to 6, and single phase 7 to 8. And with the meter uh, installed at the grid connection board, uh, you are able to monitor the, um, the consumptions in your house. And then uh, this is about how you can connect the meter correctly. Well, you, uh, about the hot line and neutral line, uh, you can run both into the meter and then run both out of the meter. Or you can just, uh, just run one single neutral line into, into the meter. So both will be fine. And well, this is uh, the close look of the meter. And uh, with this meter, uh, we we not just supply the meter. We will also supply the uh, ten meters of the count cable between the between the meter and the inverter. So it's a uh, it's a it's a it's a whole package. So we can send you the package, and then you just need to plug the meters uh, connectors into the inverter, and then uh, use the function. So it's very simple plug and play solution. And then uh, the next one is the single phase meter uh, with external CT. Well, for sound systems that you, it might be difficult that you uh, cut the grid, uh, grid lines and then insert the meter. Uh, with, that, with those systems, you can just use the single phase meter with external CT. And the external CT is, uh, you can just Clip, clip on the uh, on the cables and then it can do the measurement. So the meter will be look like this. Uh, we will also supply the CT uh, in the package. And the CT is uh, 120 amp on the primary side and then 40 milliamp on the secondary side. And all the, all the meters settings and configuration, as you can see, also the CT cables the communication cables, the connectors are all pre-made. And all you need to do is just to connect a meter and then do the settings on the inverter. And you don't need to change anything on the, on the meter side. You just need to install the meter and then the function is okay. And then uh, it's about the three-phase meter. Well, we also have a three-phase meter without CD, which is a draft insert type. And well, the solid three phase three to twenty k can support this um, meter to do the consumption monitoring, and also uh, it will have a uh, ten meters of count cable included, and uh, the meter can support maximum eighty amp, eighty amp on the on the current. Well, um, and also, also uh, maybe some of you know that solids have another kind of three-phase inverter. It's a 25 to 15 K 5G. Well, uh, that series of inverters can support connecting the meter to do the export power control function, but not the 24-hour consumption monitoring. So that is a different point. And uh, there is another three-phase meter, but with uh, external CTs. And again, uh, Solis will provide the whole package, the whole solution uh, with a meter, the COM cable, and three sets of CT. So it's very easy to install. And well, uh, you, you just need to follow the system diagram to uh, connect the meter's cable and then connect the CT's cable, also the communication cable between the inverter and the meter, then it's done. Then you can have this function. And the meter uh, and the CT is the, like uh, 50 amp, uh, 150 amp on the primary side and then 5 amp on the secondary side. Well, uh, after talk about the accessories, uh, we have some notes that uh, for you to uh, understand the function. So the first point is that metering grid connection is required because this involves the calculation logic of the of our monitoring system. So you need to make sure the meter is installed on the grid connection port. And then, well, uh, we have two functions involved with the uh, meter. 
One is the 24-hour consumption monitoring, and one is the internal APM function, which is export power um, management function. So uh, they can be both turned on or individually turned on, and those two functions are not uh, conflict with each other. And then um, the third point is that the meter is not in the standard package of the inverter. It's, a, it's an accessory which needs to be ordered like separately. So uh, you can uh, place, the, place the order with the meter and then there are sales reps that you need a meter as well. And then they will do those things for you. And uh, the fourth point is that all the meters are preset. So all the meters are preset in the manufacturing line and you don't need to change anything. You don't need to uh, do any on-site modifications on the meter. It's just a simple plug and play. And then the fifth point is very important that unauthorized settings change on the meter is forbidden because uh, we, we just tr try to avoid the customers to uh, change any settings on the meter and then which might lead to some kind of uh, communication lost between the meter and the inverter and then it will be very hard to uh, do the troubleshooting to the after sales uh, service. So we really do not recommend customers to change any settings on the meter because everything is pre-made and you don't need to change anything. Well, and then the next point is that well, uh, because some of you may know that we have uh, hybrid inverters that also have a meter connected. Well, uh, hybrid inverters do not, do not need the settings, do not need the 24 hour consumption motor function because they have a battery connected. So uh, there, the hybrid inverter can actually work for like 24 hours. So they can achieve the inherently achieve the 24 hour consumption motor function. So they don't need this uh, uh, actual settings for that. And the last point is that, well, if we have multiple inverters, uh, then you should use our EPM devices to do the consumption monitoring because all the previous uh, functions we talked about is only for one inverter, one system. So if we have multiple inverters, uh, you should use the EPM box that we have to, for example, the EPM 1 5G for the single phase system and the EPM 3 5G for the, for the three phase system and then EPM 3 5G plus, which is for a large scale or commercial size uh, three phase system. So those are AC powered and the data uploading is not depending on inverters. Uh, they will, because it's a, uh, separate devices that can do the uh, consumption um, measurement and also the uploading data. System. Uh, when the function is going to be officially released. So for the single phase uh, systems and 78, well, the Hi, there is something wrong with Jido's um, website, so he will come later. Please wait for a moment, okay? I'm sorry about it.
Oh, sorry. I think the internet is not so good. Okay, uh, we can continue. Uh, is this page about schedule that we should continue? Or are you lost? Others? Hello, Jiduo. 就是你刚刚过去五分钟的，我们都没有听清，要么你重新讲一下吧。刚刚那个到哪儿？大概到哪儿？电表这儿。呃，就是你上一页。这一页。这一页吗？嗯、呃，就是呃呃 ，schedule 上面那一页，就是 note 那里。嗯。啊，对，就是这一页。对对对。Okay, uh, I will try to uh start from here. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is about some notes that we want you to know to uh, get a, a detailed understand about the about our function. So the first point is that uh, the metering grid connection is required because uh, because the calculation logic is so so that uh, we need to make sure our modern systems get the correct data to do the correct uh, calculation logic. So you need to make sure that a meter is installed on the grid connection port. And then the next port, is, the next point is that uh, we have actually have two functions that are related about the meter. One is a 24 hour consumption monitoring and the another is internal uh, export power management function. Well, those two functions are, can be both turned on or individually turned on. So they, those two will not conflict with each other. And then uh, the third point is that uh, the meter is an accessory, which is not in the standard package of the uh, inverter. So they need to be ordered like separately. So if you uh, want this meter, uh, you can talk to our sales rep and then you can tell them that you want, the, you want to buy the meat inverter and you also want to have the 24 hour consumption monitor function. And then they will help you to place two orders to uh, get the meters. And well, and also the fourth point is that all the meters are preset. So, uh, so the uh, customers do not need to do any onsite modifications on meter. Uh, you do, need, do not need to do any settings on the meters LCD. It's very easy, simple plug and play. And then the fifth point is that uh, unauthorized setting change on the meter is forbidden. Uh, we just, because uh, everything is preset and uh, once customer change anything, on any settings on the, on the meter, that might lead to the, lead to any uh, kind of um, communication fail or any other uh, fault on the, on, the, on the meter. So it will be very hard for us to uh, identify what is going on with your system. So it will take us more time to identify the issue. So we just want to avoid the difficulties on troubleshooting. And then uh, next point is about the hybrid inverter. So some of you may know that the hybrid inverters also have a meter and uh, the hybrid inverter don't have the settings for this function because they have a battery connected. So normally the hybrid inverter will work like for 24 hours for the whole day. So they don't need actually uh, this setting because they can inherently achieve the 24 hour consumption monitoring function. And then uh, the last point is that, well, the previous uh, introductions about the function is mainly for the uh, system with one inverter. So, if you have multiple inverters and you want to do the consumption monitoring function, then you should use the EPM box. The EPM box uh, is a individual, uh, a separate device that is AC powered, and then the data uploading is not depending on the inverters. So the EPM will be responsible to upload the data to the monitoring system. So uh, they can also help your system to achieve the 24 hour consumption monitoring function. And we have um, three series of EPM devices. One is EPM 1 5G, uh, which is for the single phase systems, and EPM 3 5G for the three phase systems. And then uh, EPM 3 5G plus, uh, which is for larger size or commercial size uh, of, the, of the three phase system. 
Okay, and this is a note that we want you want you guys to know. Then uh, we can talk about the schedule and plan. So uh, for the single phase inverters, the mini and single phase two point five to six and single phase seven to eight. Well, uh, we have an estimated function release date uh, on first of July, and well. This because this is a whole. Uh, this is a fully like software solution. So you can do uh, the software upgrade to make sure your old inverters, your previous version of inverters, that can have this function. For for example, uh, you have a you have a mini inverters that manufactured like last year. You can also upgrade. You can also ask our service guys to get the latest software, and or we can actually do the reboot upgrade, like through the modern system, uh, as long as you have a HMI version up uh, higher than thirty, then we can do reboot. Otherwise, you need to do a local upgrade. And well, for the three phase inverters, uh, we will release the function uh, like like half months later. So it's the uh, 18th of June. And uh, this is also so for the three phase inverters, we all for all the versions since the beginning, we can all do the remote upgrade. So you just need to provide us the SN number and you tell us that you need this function and you install the meter. Then we can we can upgrade like remotely uh, your HMI and DSP and then you can have this function. Okay, so that is a uh, introduction for this uh, new function of Solis. And let's have a look. So if you have any questions, uh, you can send in the, yeah, okay. okay. If you have any questions, you can send in the question box and we will answer like right now. Or if you want to um, send the questions through emails to us, then we can also receive that and then give you feedback later. Okay. Okay, cool. So if there's not any questions right now, uh, you can always send the emails and the and any questions to us like through email yeah. what about yeah okay uh, what about 25 5g and 80k well uh currently the plan is not going to cover the 25k uh, 25 to 50k 5g or the 80k so uh, i guess uh, we can discuss about this to say if they want to do uh, they want to cover the function into those models. Yeah, for the five G, for the five G inverters, we can always do remote upgrade, but uh, it's not it's not the plan, so it's not planned right now. But you can, uh, we will talk to our product manager and see if we want to uh, develop those function for for the twenty five to to eighty k five G models. Update time for modern support Wi Fi stick is quite long. Update well, I think, yeah, the, the update time of the modern system Wi Fi stick. Well, uh, in the next version of Genlong Cloud Modern Platform, I guess we will release like in uh, maybe, maybe August or something, a few months later, then. Uh, with those uh, Wi-Fi stick, then we can do quicker for the for the fir first update time. Okay. Okay, cool. So that'll be the webinar. I mean, for the new functions we have, we're going to have. 
well, if any questions, you can send emails and or yeah, you can send emails to us and we will try to un answer that later. Well, thank you guys for attending this webinar. It's my honor to share you this presentation. All right. All right, cheers.